Hey, Paso Padres fans, it's time for a brand new episode of Padres POV, shining light on the Mexico series. From San Diego to beautiful Monterey, it's time for that all access pass to everything Padres. Here's what we have on deck. Our new POV correspondent and newest part-time Padre sideline reporter, Annie Heilbrunn takes us inside the booth with the legendary Mexican-American baseball broadcaster, Eduardo Ortega. Plus, the Friar faithful will weigh in on the Padres playing in Monterey and share why going international excites the baseball community. And we check back in with Fox Sports San Diego's very own Eduardo Ortega as he sits down with the National League Rookie of the Month, Padres Mexican infielder Christian Villanueva to get his thoughts on playing in his native country. All that and more right now on this brand new episode of Padres POV. I'm Lisa Lane, thanks for tuning in to Padres POV. While the team journeys to Monterey, Mexico, I took a trip down to Barrio Logan, the center of San Diego's Mexican-American community. Here, you sense so much pride for a beautiful culture. Padre fans have been blessed with the opportunity to listen to legendary Mexican-American broadcaster Eduardo Ortega for many years. This week, our new Padres POV correspondent and my friend, Annie Halbrin, took the time to catch up with Ortega and learn more about his journey in the industry. So Annie, I'll send it to you. Thanks so much, Lisa. I'm really excited to be here on Padres POV, and I'm really excited to be with this guy, Eduardo Ortega, Spanish language voice of the Padres, 32 seasons now. Does it even feel that long for you? Not really, Annie. When you're doing this Special, yeah, connecting with people, enjoying baseball, sharing the highlights of Major League Baseball is always fun, entertaining, and just time goes by. I want to start with how you got here. I know you grew up, born and raised in Tijuana. You used to imitate Spanish broadcasters back in the day, and now here you are. Tell me a little bit about that journey. Sure. When I finished high school, I started looking for a position as a filling in back up in the radio business and then TV shows locally in Tijuana. I'm originally from Tijuana. So, but my main goal was to work in baseball, Major League Baseball. The radio station of the Padres in Tijuana called me, offered me the job. They said, you, we, we knew about you. You travel because you really want to work hard to get it. So wow. we want you to start calling the game. So I started in August 1986 with the Padres. Best part about Eduardo is uh, he makes the game a lot more exciting than, than what we're used to, I guess, as Padres fans. Uh, you know, it can be a pop fly, and you might think it's a shot, maybe a home run, but he makes the game a lot more lively and a lot more entertaining to watch. Why is it so important for Major League Baseball to play these international games? And what do you think that it will give these players and these fans? And I'm very proud to be the, with the Padres family because that part of the history. Mm -hmm. Again, Padres went in 86 and 99, everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. But what it will bring these days in the 2018 season, regular season uh, series with the Dodgers is new generation. Mm -hmm. We try to really to connect with the new generation and from little leaguers up to families in, in general. and they're going to have the experience again, Major League Baseball in Mexico, but for the first time for a lot of people. Anthony Singh. Anton, how are you doing, brother? Good to see you. Good to see you. Ready for the road trip? Absolutely. Your passport ready? Yeah. <laughs> how excited are you just knowing that you grew up, your journey? You've been back before for, for Major League Baseball, but how excited are you to go back for this series? Uh, I, I, I just um, remember again what happened in 1996. Mm -hmm. We were flying from Cincinnati, we flew to Monterey, Mexico. And just remember that feeling, and always stays with me. In the plane, looking around, that's Tony Wynn, that's Rick, uh, Ricky Henderson, you yes. know, the best players ever in, 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 in this um, beautiful sport. But when the plane land, I got very emotional. Mm -hmm. It's like coming back home with Major League team, and you, you have the voice to connect with the fans. Mm -hmm. Mira quién está, mira quién está. Yo excited, Marcos. Buenos días. Really looking forward to Monterey. You are. Everybody. Is. Is going to right. Did you official interpreter? See. 32 seasons as a Spanish language broadcaster for the Padres. What do you love most about your job? What keeps you coming back, Eduardo? I'll be honest. It's watching baseball at the best level in the world every day 
is a privilege. The best part for me in the 30 years of my career is to really have this relationship with the fans in all cultures. We appreciate it so much. Uh, just your history, your knowledge of the game, everything you bring to this Padres organization. Thank you so much for being with us today. Enjoy Mexico, and I'm sure we'll talk to you soon. Definitely. Gracias. Thank you, Annie. Un saludo para todos. Thank you very much. Thank you, Annie and Eduardo. Well, there's still more to come on Padres POV. Just ahead, Christian Villanueva opens up to Eduardo Ortega on the significance of the Monterey Mexico series. I feel excited to play in front of so many who don't usually get to see this caliber of baseball. Plus, the Friar faithful weigh in on why the Padres playing internationally is great for the future of baseball. It's really exciting. You've got the Dodgers and the Padres. We're supporting something together. It's such a phenomenal opportunity. But first, it's time for your Friar fun fact. On April 4th, 1999, the Padres played their season opener against Colorado in Monterey, Mexico. The Padres lost to the Rockies 8-2, but this day left a mark on history as the first ever international opening day. We have a strong fan base um, of Mexican descent and people live in Mexico, people from Mexico that live in San Diego and Southern California, so it'll be exciting to play in front of a lot of those people. It's going to be loud, it's going to be a, a good time, and I know a lot of guys are looking, front, uh, looking forward to playing in front of those fans. Welcome back to Padres POV, I'm Lisa Lane, hanging out here at Chicano Park. This park is a national historic landmark here in San Diego, filled with tons of vibrant murals and creative sculptures. When you stand here, you're reminded that we all come from different backgrounds and cultures. In fact, when you look at our Padres team, you can see that diversity firsthand. So when the Padres move their home game across the border, it's no surprise you will find expressions of support from Friar fans. So the ball game's down in Monterey. I think it's going to be amazing. I think it's kind of the same thing that happened with the NFL taking games overseas and just to different countries. I think it's going to be great for Major League Baseball. It's enormous and to have the Padres and the Dodgers go and play, it's just huge. Baseball's a great game. It's an international game. Cuba, it's a Latin culture. You see the Latin game. It's vibrant and, uh, you know, I, I think it's great. It's great I think the more it. games played in more places, there's more better. I know that the Mexican communities are really excited about American baseball, so I think that they're really going to enjoy it. We're all here in this together, and you know, like you've got the Dodgers and the Padres. We're supporting something together. It's huge, you know, it's uh, spreading the game to every nation until we have the best players in everywhere playing in Major League Baseball. I know when I was a little kid, I'm Mexican, so. I know that when I was looking up to a lot of the players, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, hey, this is from Mexico, or just one of those things where you're like, wow, that, like my heritage comes from there, and now they're getting to play Major League Ball. Being a kid, to be able to see players like that up close and personal, I think would be really cool for them. It's good for fans of baseball. I mean, you see these players, they know where they're from, they might be from their area, and, and just to uh, be able to get a chance to go see them live, because it's not all of them come to the state to see a ball game, so it's, it's, it's good for that. I think it's cool that these, these kids can see if they just work hard at something, they can achieve whatever they want. I just love the excitement and support from Padres fans. All right, don't go anywhere because coming up, we check out the best of the best from Padres Mexican infielder Christian Villanueva this season. Tapatillo, ra, ra, ra. Plus, we have the exclusive interview between Eduardo Ortega and the National League Rookie of the Month. It's an honor for me. There's not many of us here. It means a lot to me, and finally my dream 
is coming true. But first, let's test your knowledge with some Padres POV trivia. Since 1900, Major League Baseball has had its share of Mexican-born players, including Padres infielder Christian Villanueva. So how many Mexican-born players do you think have had the opportunity to play Major League Baseball? Is it A, 60, B, 126, or is it C, 221? Stick around, we'll tell you after the break. Anytime you can do that, you know, uh, you know, watch a big league game, it's always special. You know, I think everybody in here that went to big league games when they were younger, you know, thought the same thing. Hopefully it provides motivation for them to, to do something with the game of baseball. I think it's great. I mean, it's, it's, you got you to gotta expand it to the youth. You got to get the youth into it, regardless of where they are, you know, so I think it's good. It's going to be beneficial. Welcome back to Padres POV. Before the break, we asked you, including Padres infielder Christian Villanueva, how many Mexican-born players have had the opportunity to play Major League Baseball? If you said B, 126, you are correct. Villanueva is one of 13 current Mexican-born Major League ball players, following in the footsteps of MLB greats such as Fernando Valenzuela and Vinny Castilla. Keep up the great work, Christian. San Diego sports fans, if you haven't already, be sure to check out Fox Sports San Diego's original show, Inside San Diego Sports. It airs every Tuesday, and this week you will get to know the story of San Diego State's Aztec baseball player, Chad Bible. You won't want to miss it. But it's not if, it's when San Diego State's going to make it to Omaha, and if, if I can be a part of that, then that's awesome. You can catch Inside San Diego Sports every Tuesday. And in case you miss it, be sure to head on over to FoxSportsSanDiego.com to keep up with all the latest videos and articles on your favorite San Diego teams and players. All right, now it's time to take a look at Christian Villanueva's historic start to his rookie season. Tú me haces Lanza ya, tapatío de línea por todo el left, la va a sacar, se va, se va, se fue. ¡Viva México! Tapatío, ra, ra, ra. Su primer hit de la campaña en las grandes ligas, su primer opening day ha sido este. Bota la pelota, altísima el fly. Hasta el Western Metal Supply, 1-0 ganando los padres en el segundo inning. Choca la bola, ahora el contacto es retrasado, tercera shot, Tapatío está metido ahí. Villanueva levanta y lo saca. En un bote de pelota arrastrada, fildeó una mano. El de Guadalajara tiene una buena tarde con el guante. El hombre. Lanza ya. Oh, ¡Ay, de línea! ¡Costado al izquierdo! ¡Sí, hace historia! ¡La va a sacar! ¡Se suelta por ti! ¡Se nota de línea esta vez por el estilo! ¡Su tercer jonrón histórico de la noche! Man, does Christian Villanueva ball out? Well, don't go anywhere. Coming up, Villanueva sits down with Padres broadcaster Eduardo Ortega to share their feelings on the Padres series in Monterrey, Mexico. It's like something from a dream. It's unexplainable. Plus, we learn more about the development of Padres part owner, Alfredo Harpelu's professional baseball team in Mexico. Don't go anywhere, you're watching Padres POV.
just spreading the game overall um, is obviously um, very beneficial for us as players and the players coming up. I think the more people involved in baseball, the better it'll be. It's a big deal. Um, it's a global sport, um, and we're looking to expand on that all the time. Welcome back to Padres POV, I'm Lisa Lane, here at Chicano Park, home of one of San Diego's largest Mexican-American communities. What's so beautiful about sports and baseball is the way it can bring people and cultures together. Padres part owner, Alfredo Harp Helu, hopes to aid in the development of baseball in Mexico, and has done so by bringing America's favorite pastime across the border. Opened in 2009, the Alfredo Harpilu Baseball Academy is an oasis of baseball, art, and hope. The academy that he has in Milwaukee is sort of the center for baseball and the development of young players in all of Mexico. Here, up to 50 young men from all over Mexico live, play, and learn. It's an academy of high rendimiento. It's an academy of high performance. If someone says, I want to learn baseball, sorry, this is not a school of baseball. This is an academy of high performance. And that's why our scouts are all around Mexico and we bring the best from the Republic. The ball players are housed, fed, and given the opportunity to hone their skills. Discipline is key. There are no baggy pants, no beards, and no long hair. For us, the player is an example for the children. Roughly 30 players per year move on from the academy to play professionally. 18 players have gone from here to play in America's major league systems. And eight players from here helped Alfredo's Red Devils win the 2014 championship. What does the future hold? One current project is the organization of the mayhem that is Oaxaca's historic archives. Another effort is the construction of a new stadium in Mexico City for the Red Devils. Alfredo and Maria Isabel are also investing time and money to help make Oaxaca's La Salle education system world class from preschool through college. He firmly believes that the best way to love Mexico is to propel the education. On the tennis court, where he likes to be nearly every morning, or at the office, Alfredo Harpelu is determined to win and he plans to help make the Padres perennial winners as well. I believe that baseball is like life. Every day we play a different game and we need to go out and win. Sometimes you lose. We need to know how to lose. But if you win more than you lose, then you can have success in this life. Alfredo Harpelu, a true hero in Mexico and a winner whose passion has come to San Diego. talented baseball players in Mexico. As Padre fans, we are currently witnessing some of that talent right now in Christian Villanueva. Before heading to Monterey, Eduardo Ortega sat down with the National League Rookie of the Month. Check it out. You just became the 126th Mexican-born player in the major leagues, in the whole history. This is talking about since 1930, the first one, Melo Almada. And now, in 2018, you're here. How does it mean to you? It's an honor for me. There's not many of us here. It means a lot to me, and finally my dream is coming true. We're talking about Christian's long, long journey to make the major leagues. This is uh, obstacles. You overcame the Rangers experience when you signed with them, the Cubs, the broken leg. ¿Cómo te sobrepusiste y ahora la experiencia de estar en un diamante tan hermoso como es el Petco Park? Sí, este, fueron experiencias que pues Dios sabe por qué. It's an experience that only God knows why he put it there. I never laid my head down and my family was always there for me. I never gave up and I'm giving it my all now that I'm here. I'm appreciative of the San Diego Padres for the opportunity they have given me. Let's go back to this wonderful night when Christian hit the three bombs. It's only the seventh 
player, a time the Padres have this great experience. It's like something from a dream. It's unexplainable. I had mentioned to Perella the day before that I had a dream that I would hit three home runs. The first one came fast and everyone was cheering me on. And then I hit the second and he tells me, I know you're going to get the third. And there's a photo where he is hugging me. It had all started with that hug. It was a special moment for sure. And, well, I was able to get the third home run. In the air to deep left field. For the third time tonight, being the waivers hit it out of the yard. We understand you're a very close friend with Luis Urias. Luis Urias has been just ranked the number 30 prospect in all baseball in the Padres are preparing him in Triple A. Luis Urias, I call him kid because he's like my little brother. He's very talented and I know he will be up here very soon. It's exciting that he's on our team and that there's another Hispanic on this team. He will go very far. He works hard and I just tell him, work hard but never overdo it. Concentrate and always do the job with a purpose. He's shown he can hit. He's my little brother. Now, Major League Baseball is going to Mexico, amigos. Padres for the third time in Monterrey. 96, 1999, opening day. And this time against the Dyers, the full series official games in Mexico. ¿Qué significa que vaya el béisbol? de las grandes ligas a tu país. There's a lot of pride. Bringing this caliber of baseball to Mexico, I feel excited to play in front of so many who don't usually get to see this caliber of baseball. We are going to have so many kids there who love this sport, especially in Monterrey, where there are a lot of baseball players. It's an honor for me to represent my country. Thank you very much. POV, this is Christian Villanueva. Well, that does it for this week's episode of Padres POV. Thank you so much for tuning in. From Chicano Park, I'm Lisa Lane. Cue that rollout. Sometimes wind is good, like, to get the Beyonce flow going. <laughs> Uh, illegal on TV, dog. <laughs> One of San Diego's largest, we're done, you said? <laughs>